Welcome back, everyone. Another edition of Heroes and Brews with Nerdy Dudes. We're doing another taste test as a video. The last taste test we did was natural ice. How did that go, Kev? That was the last one we did? The taste test, yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh, that was forever ago. It was. Uh, did that go well? No. Remember we said it, it tasted like if you went to a bar college bar yeah. and spilt beer on the floor that sounds about right and that smell was what natural ice taste not natural light natural ice it was natural ice natural yeah. light's delicious yeah it Big tasted fan. like beer from like a frat house uh, basement or something like that um, and then they canned it <laughs> and then you enjoyed it I guess I don't know I didn't enjoy the ice I like light oh uh, do you natural light yeah great natural ice, ice. Bam. Uh, yeah, it's all not. It's all mixed together good. in the same boat. But we actually have a nice craft beer with us today to try. And I picked this because I don't know if Kev's going to like this. It piqued my interest based off the can and the design type because it's very familiar to something you all might enjoy. I know I'm a big fan of the Sour Patch Kids. We have Great South Bay Brewing Company Sour Batch. Mm. It's got. Oh, let's see. We got a, a style right here. It's sour ale with cherry, lemon, and lime. 7% alcohol. 9 IB, IBUs, sorry. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. So there's pretty much no bitterness in this in this beer at all. Not zero. So it's I'm excited. It's interesting. If this right. tastes like Sour Patch Kids, uh -huh. I'm about to go back to Long Island and just get three cases of this. Yeah, I... I... I think I may have tried a Sour Patch Kid once in my life. Really? Yeah. Dude, I'm I not love a big, Sour I'm not Patch a big kids. candy person at all. Um, so I, you'll be the judge of whether it actually tastes like the candy or not. See, the problem um, for me is when I have Sour Patch Kids, the candy, I go overboard. But I think the sour, like, that makes you, like, suck your face in a little bit. Which I know. I'm, I'm already, I'm, like, feeling I'm, that. I'm easy with sour. But mouth. every time I have, like, a big bag of Sour Patch Kids, I bite the crap out of the inside of my mouth. And I'm like, I'm like bleeding and I'm trying to patch it up and I'm like, oh, I need more. And then I bite myself again. Like trying to, to sour patch it up. Yeah, sour patch it, yeah. Um, that sounds terrible though. That sounds really, really bad. I'm surprised you still eat them. Um, so Ooh. I'm not a huge fan of sour beers. Give them a shot. I'm not trying to discriminate against any, any beer style. Oh, I love the smell. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how I feel about it. I'll give you a little taste test so you don't have to feel like you have to have a whole thing and watch i absolutely yeah, I love it and this will become my new favorite beer it's got a nice little but red color to it enjoying it it is very pretty we got our very pretty so beer. kev's got his workhorse brewing company glass represent i got my tro's glass with my tro's wow. coaster which i forgot the name of a coaster like five minutes ago yeah, yeah it was did really you try it? no no i just, oh, I was gonna... just smelled it Kind of smells a little like wine, which most, it does most sours have do have a whiny taste. Yeah, it reminds me of um the same smell as Sour Monkey. Yeah. You know? So another sour beer from Victory Brewing Company in Downingtown, PA. We're just rattling off all these PA brewing companies while drinking, name drop. drinking a Long Island beer. Weird. Right? Yeah, Weird. that's kind of crazy. That's right. I forgot. Um, am I, should I take a sip? So do you want to take a sip first, or should I take a sip? I'll... Oh, that's right. You've never tried this. I haven't tried this either. I keep either. forgetting that. I, I pre-ordered this. this. I had my family pick it up because I'm obviously in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So I told everyone that I was going to wait to try this with Kev on our video. And Court was hassling me because she's like, I want one. Give me one. I'm like, I bought a four pack. First off, Court, I'm sorry. I'm going to put you on blast. You live on Long Island. You have access to Great South Brewing Company and this beer. What are you doing? <laughs> right? Trying to heckle, he heckle me. For one of my four beers. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And if we enjoy this, we're drinking it all. And I said, Court, if Kev doesn't like it and I have one left over, I will bring it from Pennsylvania yeah, then back to Long it. Island yeah. and you can enjoy it. All right, man. So I'm you first, go for it. Yeah, right, you go for Here it. Here we go. I'm going to drink it too. Why not? Oh, I like it. I like this. It's got that little bit of a... It does take a, taste a tiny bit Sour Patch Kid. It has a little... Like, initial taste of Sour Patch yeah. Kid. It really does. For me, it's not It's not bad. I love it. It's not bad. I'm a big fan of this. If you're a fan of sour beers, I, I 
to me, I feel like I'm not to, I'm not a really good judge on sour beers. Um, See, the aftertaste but, of the sourness kind of dwindles away, but like the initial hit is sour patch kid. It's it's subtle, but oh, you, you taste it, I and it's very like, good. It it is kind of almost like this this candy ish kind of taste in the beginning. It's 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 weird. It's it, that's kind of cool. How oh, I'm a to, I'm a big fan of this. Capture that. Um, I think I'm giving this a five on the untapped. It's not bad, man. Here's the thing with sour beers. I think if I were to have a sour beer, I could have one, and then I would be good. I don't think I could like chill dangerous. on it the whole day. I think it's just to for for me and my palate, it's it's a little too much. Like any kind of sour beer, I think it's enjoyable though, and I definitely think if you're a fan of sour beers, I think See, that you'll you'll like this. My problem: seven percent alcohol. This will. Go down like candy. That's kind of crazy. That seven yeah. percent alcohol. I can get doesn't really drunk strong. off this. I think anybody could if you have multiple of these these bad boys. Oh. Man, I'm really they they really nailed it. I think they did a great job with this. Very happy. The can design is freaking fantastic. Again, the lighting in here isn't the greatest, but if you see a little bit of it, it's just perfection. You know what's weird is the the initial. Uh, the initial sip, that first taste, I really, really like. It's that Sour Patch Kid. It's yeah, that candy. Um, I'm just, telling you, it's 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 almost spot on. Almost. <clears throat> Not perfectly spot on, but you, you know it's there and you can taste it. Yes, I completely agree. So like I said, I think if you're a fan of sour beers, definitely check this out. If you're a fan of Sour Patch Kids and you enjoy beer, um, this is for you. Like, uh, like, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, or whatever holiday, um, you know. Uh, Whenever they're brewing it. Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. The 7% sour patch <laughs> is already affecting me. Um, I think it was the hop candy. Oh, it was probably the hop candy too. <laughs> it's a mixture of all of it together. All of a sudden, I can't really think straight or talk. Um, but it's, it's good, man. Again, you know, I'm not a big sour beer guy, so unfortunately I was not converted after this. But it's not to say that it's a bad beer. Yes. I think it's a fantastic beer if you like sour beers. Yes. And if you like Sour Patch Kids... You will be very happy with how Great South Bay Brewing Company contained the taste in this delicious beverage. I'm assuming they they probably put it in it a, yeah with, with a batch sour yeah. patch kids. They probably did. I mean, Which I'm assuming pretty cool. like the evil genius style, just throw whatever you can find from the from like the garbage dump. Yeah, oh, yeah. a bunch of pretzels, let's throw it in. Yeah, you got some candy, some heart candies, which was great by the way. I forget the beer name of that oh the valentine's day yeah the one that i got yeah i didn't try that one oh, was, was it good, good? yeah did I, it taste like them things nah, not really uh -huh. i mean it was a good it was a good tasting beer you just didn't really get much of that yeah that candy taste but this does have that candy taste so it does yeah. if you had their sour batch give us your thoughts in the comments we would love to know if you like sour beers let us know if you don't like sour beers let us know mm -hmm. we're all for <laughs> all kinds of comments we will get back to you because we care about you we love you and thanks for all of your support thank support. you guys thank you thank you thank you and as always kev cheers, cheers.